Step number one, assemble equipment. This ensures all necessary materials are available, minimizing interruptions and maintaining asepsis. Step number two, do hand washing. This helps prevent the spread of microorganisms and maintain a septic technique. Step number three, position client comfortably. This ensures patient comfort and promotes cooperation during procedure. Step number four, place waste receptacle within reach of work. This facilitates proper disposal of soiled materials and maintains cleanliness. Step number five, with clean gloves, remove dressings one layer at a time, observing the appearance and drainage on the dressing. This prevents the contamination and assesses the wound's conditions for signs of infections or healing. Step number six, inspect the wound of appearance, size, depth, drainage, and approximation. This evaluates wound healing progress and identifies any abnormalities. Step number seven, fold dressings with drainage contained inside and remove gloves inside out. This prevents the contamination and safely disposes of soil materials. Step number eight, place the dressing tray within reach. This ensures sterile supplies are accessible, minimizing movement and risk of contamination. Step number nine, Apply sterile gloves or use the no-touch technique with sterile forceps. This maintains sterility and prevents infection. Step number 10. Cleans wound with hydrogen peroxide. Use a separate swab for each cleansing stroke. Clean from the least contaminated area to the most contaminated. This reduces the microbial load while preventing cross-contamination. Step number 11. Apply antiseptic solution using the same technique as for cleansing. This promotes wound healing by preventing infection. Step number 12. Apply dry dressing. This protects the wound from contamination and supports healing. Step number 13. Apply tape. This secures the dressing in place to protect the wound.
Step number 14. Gloves removed and hand hygiene performed properly after dressing change is complete. This helps prevent contamination and reduces the risk of infection. Step 15. Document procedure. One assessment and dressing change. Report any concerns according to agency policy. This provides an accurate record for continuity of care and highlights any concerns for follow-up care.